Hey everybody, I want to show you a little contraption we got going on right here and this is a, a live well But I wanted to show you kind of the details of the setup going on right here So first off, I want to say thank you to my brother Adam Whitbeck He donated actually a few of these live well pumps right here My man is all artificial killing it in Tampa Bay And so uh, he's like, hey man, I don't need this anymore He donated it to the Yak Tribe Kayak Library And I had somebody hit me up and they were like, hey um, I want to use some um, some live bait, and I'm actually just using this as a test because I like doing you know these kind of builds. But I want to show you guys just a little quick thing I put together. All right, so we have this Wild Gear cooler, and what's cool about this cooler is it's two sides, right? Um, it's a little bit overkill for you know just keeping some bait alive, but hey, um, it's hot in Florida um, right now. I know my family wants to do fishing on the Skyway, and I know my dad needs something like this, and so he likes to sit out on the Skyway Bridge for a very long time and just fish, and so this will ensure that the bait stays nice and cool and alive, and so here's what we got going on. We got a Wild Gear cooler right here. It has two ports on either side, just like this, and what I have here is I have power running inside one of these ports and coming in, or on the outside and coming in on the inside. And so we're gonna turn this off for just a moment. And so you can see that you got the uh, the pump and then you have the piece of PVC pipe with the slits in it that's aerating um, all the bait, you know, bait swimming around. So once this is closed, you know, this can keep hot or cold. We've got the Dakota Lithium uh, power box right here and I have the positive and negative running right to these connectors. And inside you can see just some really solid work done, nice and organized. Connected to the 12 volt, this is a uh, 10 amp hour battery in there. And so you can run things like cigarette lighter, you can run things like uh, USB right here. It even has a little bit of lighting in the front. Which one is it? One of these. Anyways, um, got that hooked up right there. On this side, my dad or whoever, myself, my family, we can put, you know, drinks and, you know, sandwiches, maybe some, some fruit and snacks, keep it nice and cold in this side of the cooler. And then this side of the cooler, you can keep bait. So, boom. There you go. What do you guys think? Pretty clean setup. As you're powering your, uh, your fresh aerated bait, keeping them nice and alive. Maybe you're sabiking them up from the bridge or maybe you bought shrimp or whatever the case is. Um, you can also charge your cell phone. You can plug in a fan. Maybe it's a little hot out. You can plug in a little 12 volt fan right there and say nice and cool. But right there you got your power. Sometimes you gotta adjust this. Anyways, thought you guys would like this quick little build. Let me know in the comments what you like, what you don't like. This is the Wild Gear Cooler, Dakota Lithium Power Box. That's the uh, 10 amp hour battery. 50 quart cooler on this side, 25 on this side. Let me know what y'all think.